guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan, and today I will be giving my thoughts on I Hate Everything's video on the live action adaptations of Walt Disney's animated movies. Now, before I dive into the video itself, I'm gonna give you my opinion on I Hate Everything. Honestly, I think his videos are beyond fucking awesome for the most part, but I strongly disagree with his video on the Disney live action adaptations. So that's the one I will be covering today. With that all being said, let's dive in. Now before any of you say that I hate everything is satire, keep that disclaimer in mind. It clearly shows that he is stating his honest opinion on the subject. Anyway, don't you worry I hate everything. Even though I strongly disagree with the video, I'm still gonna try to be as civil and respectful as possible. Hey Disney, now I know it's super convenient for you guys to just remake films you've already made because all the hard work has basically already been done for you by you? Do you really think those live action adaptations are easy to make? That just goes to show how little you know on how movies work. Most movies take fucking years to make. And you have to keep in mind that most of these movies have visuals and they are extremely time consuming. Also, the live action adaptations of the animated Disney movies are not the same. I will give a good example. The live action Cinderella movie is very different from the animated one. I can name several differences. In the animated one, we barely got to see Cinderella's parents. But in the live action one, we get to see them die. And we are also introduced to them before they die. And the live action adaptation also goes into further detail about the prince. While the animated one goes into further detail on those mice who aren't interesting in the slightest. And I can name several differences with the other ones as well. My point is, those movies are different from their animated counterparts. Sure, the settings and the characters might be the same, but a lot about those movies is different. Do we really need a Dumbo remake, an Aladdin remake, and a The Lion King remake? I don't see why not. Sure! If they want to put a new spin on the stories, I don't see anything wrong with that. The chances are you're gonna have some affinity for at least one of the classic 2D animated Disney movies. For me, it's Tarzan, Hercules, The Sword in the Stone, and Treasure Planet. So you like the animated Hercules movie? That's fucking awesome! I thought that was the only one. Of course, Disney knows the power they hold over us. And we all know that for Disney, nostalgia is the teat that keeps on teating. Infinite teats for the sucker. Providing that luscious, fatty mother's milk of safety, predictability, and comfort that people are willing to pay for again, and again, and again. There is far more to it than just nostalgia. It's also the fact that they want to do something new with an already existing story. Assuming that it's only because of nostalgia is pretty naive. I feel that as a business decision for Disney, remaking old classic movies of theirs is actually a pretty good move. It's far less risky because everyone's already familiar with the property. They don't have to sell us on anything. The story and characters are already laid out for them. And they have a built-in audience of adults, parents, teenagers, who remember the properties fondly. And there are also children who are ready to experience these stories for the first time. You have to keep in mind that the old animated Disney movies aren't original either. More than 90% of them are based on already existing stories. I don't think the idea of remaking classic movies is inherently bad necessarily. Then why the hell did you make this video? However, more often than not, you can clearly see how cynical and lifeless the decision making is behind the curtain. It's as clear as a summer's day how much more the scales are in favour of the business over the creative, without the balance that is required for the art form to have any semblance of integrity. Alright, I'm gonna have to be honest here. I absolutely fucking hate it when people assume, unironically, that movies are just made for the money. It's one of the main reasons most movies are made, sure. But it's not the only reason. Movie studios aren't some evil corporations that only care about money. And having the mindset that they are is very stupid. Let's take this trailer for Jon Favreau's The Lion King remake as an example. It's effectively a shot-for-shot -shot remake of the classic scene from the original movie. Except everything has changed 
for the worse. The colour palette is less moody and atmospheric. The shot composition is less expressive. It feels completely different despite showing us the exact same thing. The devil really is in the details when it comes to animation. Sure, it's impressive to show how photorealistic we can render animals in a computer, but the entire appeal of Disney animated movies is the character designs. What do all of these characters have in common? At a single glance, you can tell exactly how they're feeling. The entire point of choosing these animals, these character designs, and these stories and scenes is to convey a specific emotion. You can take any frame from the original Lion King, and all the information you need about how the character is feeling and the mood of the scene is displayed perfectly because of how expressive the animation and artwork is. Alright, I will admit that is a very good point. Though I would argue that the biggest problem isn't the fact that characters can't express emotions in live action. They can do that just fine. I think the bigger problem is what looks Beautiful and wonderful in animation looks fucking creepy in live action. The perfect example of what I'm talking about is the movie Inspector Gadget. That movie tried way too hard to be a live action cartoon instead of trying to work for a live action movie. And that is the main reason why I hate that movie. What is this photorealistic baboon thinking? I'm scared of it. Whereas in the original, when I see this guy, I wanna sit down and eat a banana with him. He looks friendly and inviting. Okay, now you are crossing nitpicking territory. Who fucking cares how he looks? I mean, I will admit that it does matter a little bit, but what should matter more is his personality. Which you know nothing about since the movie isn't even fucking out yet. This is why you don't judge a movie before it's released. Why would I want to be reminded how frightening and intimidating baboons, lions, and other scary animals are? Isn't the entire story of the Lion King pretty reliant on us connecting and empathizing with the characters? How am I supposed to empathize with a real lion? I can name a live action lion who is a good character and that lion is a slan from the Chronicles of Narnia series. And I'm not the only one who really likes him. The first movie of the Chronicles of Narnia series is widely regarded as a classic. So yeah, a live action lion can work. This is a huge issue for me with the 2017 Beauty and the Beast remake. Alright, I will agree with you on that. The Beauty and the Beast remake is yeah. It's one of the only two live action adaptations which I hate. The other one being Maleficent. Don't get me started on the beast. Oh my god, it's atrocious. What the- what the hell is that supposed to be? I think the worst part is that he looks like he is from the fucking circus. And it doesn't look intimidating in the slightest. Greatest irony is these gritty reboots are gonna need to be rebooted themselves, as they're not gonna hold up at all in the future because their only artistic merit is to show off how photorealistic they can make their CGI spectacles. Oh, I can name one that holds up extremely well years later. And that movie is The Jungle Book from 2016. Not only do I think that movie is fucking awesome, it's also highly regarded by many as the best live action adaptation of the old Disney animated movies. Films that tend to lean on nothing but showing off how impressive their computer graphics are tend to be the ones that age the worst. Now I haven't seen that Godzilla movie, but I have seen the other two movies that you're showing. And I can tell you the reason why they suck isn't because they are showcasing visuals. The reason these movies suck is because they have bad characters and bad story. You know, pretty much like every other bad movie. So what would I like to see change? Well, if they insist on continually making these godforsaken empty cash grabs, I'd like to see one of two things. Either stop making them, which I know won't happen until they stop making money, or why not try to be a little more true to the source material? What the hell are you talking about? These movies do, for the most part, stay true to their source material. In fact, I would say that Cinderella and the Jungle Book improve on the original. If you don't like those two movies that I mentioned, that's fine, you're entitled to your opinion. But you can't sit there and tell me that no passion was put into them. I can clearly tell just by watching these movies that a lot of passion went into them. 
These films are practically entirely animated in a computer anyway, so why not just adapt the 2D movies into 3D ones, in a similar style to Tangled, Frozen, or Moana, if you're so desperate to milk recognisable intellectual properties? At least then there'd be some kind of brand cohesion going on. It'd be way more marketable too, you could sell so many toys! At least that way you'd have the vibrant, exaggerated nature of animated films to work with. That's a fucking horrible idea! If they're going to remake animated movies to another style of animation, there would be no point. Also, I would argue that would make the movie look even worse. When I watch 2D animated movies, it legitimately feels like I am looking at a moving artwork. But I don't get that feeling with 3D animated movies. In fact, they feel to me too similar to live action movies. I really wish movie studios would go back to making 2D animated movies. They do it so rarely nowadays and that's just sad. Hell, this way you may even be able to reuse the classic voice acting. How the hell would that work? Most of the voice actors in the animated movies before the 1990s are long dead. So I don't think that would work. So you don't have to worry about shitting all over famous performances like Robin Williams from Aladdin. How the hell do you know that Will Smith's performance as the genie is bad? You don't, since the movie isn't even fucking out yet. And keep in mind that this video was uploaded before the first trailer that revealed Will Smith as the genie. So I hate everything, couldn't have based his opinion on that. Will Will Smith be as good as Robin Williams was? No, of course not, his performance is irreplaceable. But at least give Will Smith a chance. Oh, and there is one more problem that I have with the video that I have to address before I get into my overall thoughts. At no point in this video do you explain why this movie suck, character or story wise. You only talk about how this movies look. Don't get me wrong, how a movie looks is important. But the story and characters are even more important. So not talking about either seems like a missed opportunity to me. Now it's time for my overall thoughts. I think this video is very good. I hate everything, you have every right to hate those movies. I'm not here trying to change your mind. I'm here to explain in a civil manner why I disagree with you. With that being said, I still think that most of the rest of your videos are fucking awesome. Keep up the good work, man. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for watching and have a great day.